Ali Malin on Thursday, February 24, the Russian president green-lighted a military operation in the Donbas area. On that date, the Russian troops introduced into Ukrainian land, air and sea. So the worst scenario of Western countries has come true. Russia has actually unleashed to full-scale military invasion in Europe for the first time since World War II. Global stock indexes turned bearish on the evident signs that Kremlin would attack Ukraine in the nearest hours. When it actually happened, investors were proudly flocking to safe haven assets. Thus, global risk aversion is a boost in demand for assets which I considered safer. Yesterday, before the turning point, major US stock indexes closed with significant losses. The Nasdaq lost 2.6% and the Dow Jones was 1.4% down. And the S&P 500 shed 1.8% and today futures are trading at nearly 4,225, having lost another 2%. The forecast for the benchmark stock index is bearish. Its Canada is seen between 4,100 and 4,260 points. US President Joe Biden, who had already slapped sanctions against the Russia business, sent a message that the US and the European allies are ready to announce tougher sanctions on Russia, in particular banks, experts of electronics, uh, semiconductors, aircraft spare parts and other uh, mechanisms. EU's uh, foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell said that the EU, EU intends to impose the tougher financial sanctions ever. Today, traders find out macroeconomic data on the United States and the US GDP expanded by 7% in the fourth quarter in the second estimate. This figure surpassed the 5.5% increase in the first estimate and also three times as high as the GDP rate for the previous quarter that was measured at 2.3%. Besides, the GDP price index and a gauge of inflation came in at 7% stronger than expected 6%. In a weekly update from the US Labor Department, initial unemployment claims grew to 132,000 last week, less than 249,000 a week ago, and also less than the expected level. Nevertheless, the situation in East Ukraine overshadows the economic calendar, serves as the market catalyst. The US dollar is certainly benefiting from the turmoil in financial markets. Investors tend to buy the US currency and gold amid geopolitical jitters and risk aversion. In this context, the US dollar index surged to 97.19 level. The chart suggests a further confident advance. At the same time, the euro is losing favor with investors, having failed falling to 1.1230 against the greenback. So no to prevent a steady rally of the US dollar across the boat, the index is expected to smash the resistance area between 96.28 and 97.24 anytime soon. Some experts do not rule out that the US Fed will rate hike. On the contrary, others believe that the hostilities set the stage for the US Central Bank to raise the key interest rate in March by 50 basis points at a time. Canadian energy companies are monitoring the political developments. The military conflict triggered a spike in commodity prices. WTI is trading at about $100 a barrel. The US dollar is also trading at elevated levels. Notably, Canada is exporting almost 70% if it's owed directly to the US dollar. So the Canadian dollar belongs to commodity currencies. The question is how the USD card pays trading under such market conditions. The currency pair neglects high oil prices. The US dollar is holding the upper hand over its Canadian rival, and today the pay is trading at nearly 1.2821, and it's likely to test the upper border of the curve between 1.27 and 1.29 in the near future. Investors clearly prefer to seek shelter in the safe haven US dollar and gold, hence Bitcoin slumped in parallel with the stock markets. On Thursday, the token made two painful declines. First, the flagship crypto dropped by 7.9% to $34,324, their lowest level since January. Then, after a minor climb, Bitcoin fell again by 4.8%. Analysts have no doubt that the crypto market is following stocks. It means that such correlation will persist for some time, so Bitcoin could hit rock bottom. And now the crypto is trading at $35,182 inside the corridor between 
34,371. Most analysts share the viewpoint that digital tokens can serve as a shelter amid geopolitical turbulence. To be honest, global stock exchanges are going through a hard time. Amid risk of mood, all cryptocurrencies are set to extend weakness. Interestingly, Bitcoin can spring surprises. Commonly, gold appreciates amid pessimism and wars. In contrast, Bitcoin grows uh, amid optimism and team spirit. All in all, the US stock market is wound down by the Russian military clashes against Ukraine, so investors have better play safe and wait until the crisis is settled. In the name of humanity, do not allow to start in Europe what could be the worst war since the beginning of this century. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres appealed to Vladimir Putin to stop the assault on Ukraine. Will any response follow? Take care and trade prudently. See you tomorrow.